breaking news, Half-Life 3 confirmed, and more on another episode of The Shit You Care About. Alright everybody, so jumping right into it. This is the first Half-Life game that's come out in 12 years. That'll be 13 years when the game comes out in March of next year. The game is completely played in VR from start to finish, and it takes about 13 to 15 hours, Valve was saying, which is about as long as it takes to finish Half-Life 2. So they do intend this game to be a mainline game of the franchise, but it's a prequel to Half-Life 2, and a sequel to Half-Life 1, it gets a little it gets a little complicated in there. I think they decided to do this because Half-Life 3 just has so much ridiculous hype around it. I, I just don't think they possibly know where to go or how to handle that yet. So I think it was a smart idea for them to kind of release this like game to ease people back into Half-Life. Because I mean, after 13 years, there are legitimately people out there that probably don't even know what Half-Life is and probably have never even seen it before. Even though it is a little bit of a bummer that we're not getting Half-Life 3 quite yet for all of you PC boomers out there. You play as Alex Vance in this game, working with your father to fight against the Combine. Classic Half-Life story stuff here. It was previously leaked earlier in the week that Valve was gonna be saying something about a new Half-Life game this week. A lot of people didn't believe that they were gonna actually do that, but here we are, a new Half-Life game is actually coming. Uh, Gabe Newell himself says that everyone at Valve is excited to be returning to the world of Half-Life. VR has energized us. We've invested a lot of ourselves in the technology, but we're also game developers at heart. And to be devoting ourselves to a VR game this ambitious is just as exciting. So as you may know, Valve released their Index headset earlier in the year. They've been very invested in VR since kind of the beginning. And especially over the past couple years, they've been putting a lot of time and energy into kind of bringing VR into the mainstream. So it doesn't surprise me a whole lot to see them really putting their all into a big blowout VR game. I guess they weren't initially going out to bank a Half-Life game, but during their VR testing they just found that a lot of their playtesters really enjoyed playing VR, so they decided to make a game out of it. I'm assuming this game is going to be mostly played sitting down. I would hope that they end up going with an analog stick control over like that teleportation moving. I really, really hate when you have to do that in VR games, but the potential here is insane. I especially love when Alex is going through like cupboards and she has to like move trash out of the way to like find the good stuff. That is really cool. I'm sure it can might end up being kind of a pain when you're just like, God, I need ammo or I just need this item or, or something really quick. But I, I love the attention to detail there. It looks like you kind of have like a little zip line attached to your little uh, hand gloves too that like kind of allow you to zip items and stuff over to you, which is probably going to be a good idea for VR. Having played a lot of VR, I know how much of a pain it can be to kind of have to like bend down every time or bend up and, and around to grab stuff all the time. So I think it's nice that they added in that feature to like zip stuff over to you. I, I Like I mentioned earlier, I really hope they end up going with the analog stick controls though for movement. I always just felt like it never worked well to like teleport around. The game looks like a classic Half-Life game, it looks like a good mix of story, combat, and puzzles. It's not the prettiest game in the world, but I definitely think it is doable, and I think it's more about kind of the experience and the gameplay that goes along there. Definitely looks on another level than a lot of VR games out there. Especially if we don't have like a lot of full-blown story adventures to do on VR, I think it'll be really cool if they can really hit this out of the park and kind of sell units because of this game. And that's really what VR needs right now, is that killer app to sell units and get it into the mainstream, get it in the hands of most people. And I'd really love to see it become more of that normal, you know? That being said, we're gonna have to see kind of if this is gonna be that thing that sells units for people or if it's just kind of another cool VR experience. I think this is gonna reinvigorate the series from here on. I would not be surprised to see Valve talk about more Half-Life stuff down the road from here. Especially now that it's kind of getting everyone invested in that franchise again. It's number one trending on Twitter right now, it's number one trending on YouTube, it, it is huge. It's no surprise that everyone is freaking out about a new Half-Life game. Anyway, that's about all the news I have for you guys today. That was Half-Life Alex, thank you for joining me, have a kick-ass week. Yes.